Hey, all my fashionistas and fashionistas out there. It's your plus size fashionista. Mm-hmm. Yep. And this is going to be uh not a first look, but because it's not on my head, but a sneak peek on how the finished uh results are looking on the uni wigs unit that um you guys seen that I did a first look on the Brazilian straight hair and uh 20 inch closure 22 and 24 inch bundles so if you guys want to see the final outcome on this custom made wig unit that i've made then you guys know what to do keep it locked honey nistas <laughs> Fashionistas and fashionistas out there. It's your plus size fashionista. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. I am back on my fashion thieves and dolls. Like I was saying in the intro before, I'm gonna show you guys a sneak peek on how um, my unit is looking um, that I custom made from Uniwix. Now I will have that link somewhere in this video or in the fashion box below. And I did uh, unboxing and I received three items from Uni Wigs. I received a closure, a middle part closure in 20 inches and it is Brazilian straight. And two bundles of Brazilian straight wefted hair. And it is in one twenty two inch and one twenty four inch. So if you guys want to get all the specs and see the packaging, then once again, I will have the link somewhere in this video or in the fashion box below. So you can get more of uh, more info, more descriptive details of the item that I am talking about now. So honeys, if you already seen that video, excuse me guys, you guys can watch this video. So, like I said, I did make a custom unit and this is it right here. And it's in a natural black lumbi color and I was pleasantly surprised um, I used all the hair that was sent to me I thought that it would not be enough um, and that's my fault I was prejudging the hair before I actually was making the unit but um my pre-assumptions was you know two bundles will not be enough plus the closure because the hair is already long so the longer the hair is the less hair is on the weft so i was thinking well it's not going to be enough and i may have to get another bundle but i was saying to myself well let me see let me make the unit and then we'll go from there and see if i have to add any extensions to it Okay, so first I sewed my closure on, and I will link some videos in the fashion box below if you guys would like to see in action how to make your own custom unit. I'll find a couple young ladies that I've looked at their videos and who helped and guide me into making my wigs, even though I do a little bit of tweaking, but the concept is still the same. Okay, so after I did the closure, I sewed in the longest bundle which was a 24 and I went all the way up till about mid crown area which is about right here so then the 24 inch I was single wefting it because again I was thinking you know it may not be enough hair so it's better to be safe than sorry so I was single tracking it back and forth back and forth back and forth until it was almost meeting to the area I previously was saying so I was like, oh my God, so I'm going to have to double it. So going towards the top, I doubled it. And then the 22 uh, inch bundle, I doubled that until almost meeting to the closure. So I single tracked it to meeting to the closure because I don't want that area to be bulky. Because when you're doing any type of customization or making a custom unit with the closure you want it to be seamless as possible because you want it to look as natural as possible you want it to look like the hair is growing out of your scalp you don't want any bulkiness you don't want any you know imperfections in your unit if you will so you want to take your time trust me i'm not saying you know i'm a pro at making wigs but i have made quite a few so it's a learning lesson you guys as you do more you will learn more about it you will learn you know what to do 
uh, differently within your units and etc and etc okay so I used all the hair except I did use um, an extra piece of hair that I had gotten from um, a frugalista's haven because that you I had got hair from her when I did a review from her and it was Brazilian straight so I just had got a little leftover piece of hair from her that I didn't use um, on my unit my customization full unit that I made from her and I put it right here on the side right here so that's it um, other than that no lumps, no bumps. Smooth sailing. It looks like a sew-in. No lumps, no bumps. And I get questions from my honeys. How long does it take me to make wigs? I'm a perfectionist. So it takes me a long time. It takes me maybe about five, six hours. I know that's long. And some people, you know, will do a little bit of you know the process one day then the rest another day i don't have time for that i'm type person i'm like so impatient so if i'm gonna do it i might as well knock it out and do it right then and there yes it's a lengthy process but at the end of the day it is worth it and you will get a beautiful unit that will last you a long time depending if you take care of it properly human hair or remy hair or virgin hair will last you a year or longer i've had some units that i still had from two years ago that still look beautiful look as if i just recently had gotten it so ladies you, you it is possible to have hair as long as that you just have to take care of it okay so i will tell you guys this unit is so full it's really full and I was in disbelief as I previously mentioned I was saying you know it probably won't be enough but this hair is it's giving me a more of a natural look as if it would be my hair that's growing out of my scalp but it's still full it's not gapping or lacking in areas that looks really thin or sparse I like that it looks really full but natural I love that as well as I love the luster of the hair. It's giving me a low to medium luster. It looks like it's grown out of your scalp. Um, the wefts when I was making the unit. I received no shedding. None. No shedding with uh, the wig making process. None at all. No tangling. No knotting up. Sometimes when I make my units, you know, as you know, you go on and you make your units, it gets tangled and here it gets tangled or whatever. And no, it didn't get tangled, anything like that. Um, the ends. The ends are pretty decent. No sparsing, no thinness. I like that. I love this unit because it looks so natural looking. And I know you guys really haven't seen any straight units on me, but like one time because I'm like so anti-straight units. But again... I want to show you guys different styles, um, colors, textures, and etc. I don't want you guys seeing the same old looks for me. I want to show you guys different colors, looks, textures, and etc. So I decided, you know what, let me break out of my shell and just go ahead, go forth, because I know I could turn it out with this unit. So I did just that. Um, I didn't mention in the unboxing video that the closure is bleached. So that's good for my honeys that don't want to take a chance and bleach your knots. And you mess it up and bleach the hair and over process it and all of that. You don't have to worry. Uni Wigs bleaches it for you. So you have to love that. So that takes an extra step that you would have to do that you don't have to do. Um... It looks pretty natural. Um, only thing I can say is um, going from like right around here, this area, you do see a light color, like a light brown, but no worries. Um, I did use my color silk. Um, this product is I think possible. It's light. All I really do, you guys, excuse me, you guys, I think I'm coming down with the cold. But all I do is shampoo, conditioner, deep conditioner protein treatment depending on if I bleach the hair or put any color onto the hair and I just want to restore the hair back to the natural element before you know I lift it to color or process it in any shape form or fashion and um I use heat protecting sprays because I want to keep the hair looking as nice as it did when I once received it so you want to take care of your hair I cannot stress it enough use little to no products on it 
Like if the hair is frizzy, okay, you can use a little bit of product to tame the frizziness. But other than that, you should not have to use oil sheens or serums or anything because if the hair has natural luster and sheen and shine, you don't need to do all that. You're just going to weigh the hair down. So yes, honeys, I just want to show you this. I will be installing this soon, but I am extremely, extremely backed up on review. So you will see this very, very soon. But I just want to show you guys the outcome of it. Um, I'm thinking about coloring it, like I said, in the initial unboxing video, but I'm not really sure yet. Still debating, but I'm thinking either I'm going to leave it as is or ombre the, uh, the ends. Don't know yet, but whatever I choose, I most definitely will make a video letting you guys know what decision I've chose um, on this hair. So, yeah, you guys, I want you to do one thing for me. Stay fly, stay fashionable for less also. Tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, honeys, you guys know what I want you to do. Take care. Bye, honey-nistas. Mm-hmm.